Hello friends, so let's talk a little bit about Dune. The Benny Jenner Center, why they are behind everything. So the, 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 the Benny Jenner Center are a cult of religious, um, usually all women, that are in control of the universe. So they're the ones that go around and manipulate, keep things in order. They are the ones that maintain the power. But there was a prophecy that if a man was... To, and it's the order of only women, okay? And was to gain that power, which is what Paul Atreides ends up doing, that he would be a threat to that order. Now, keep in mind, the first two books, like I said, are the, I mean, the first two movies, the one that just came out now, and the first, uh, Benny just Benny Jisra, that's how you say their name, sorry. Benny Jisra is just one book. Now the next movie, part three, is going to be called Dune Messiah. And this is when, let's just say, the Holy Crusade begins. Okay? Now, let me tell you, there is one thing that you need to realize about war. There's one thing you need to realize about good, evil, about combat about about the dune universe that there is no sides there is no good guys there is no bad guys there is the hero's journey but your heroes can easily turn into villains just like a villain can easily become a hero like it is not as cut and dry as you think it is and there's never been a story told uh, as deep as meaningful and as it complex to the point where people write entire theses entire lectures and, and will devote their careers you dissecting and you know writing and trying to understand the meaning of dune and the universe and there's a whole following behind it so just understand when you go in to see dune part two you're actually just reading watching for the first time in history the actual a true adaptation with a few creative differences so there is a few different things such as uh, the Hurricanes like they're in the book they do have red hair but in the movies their son is a white dwarf uh, so it, it's therefore their skin would not be getting the vitamin E vitamin F and they would not grow hair they'd be very pale it's very scientific it's very realistic the reason we have hair you have fingernails, the reason you have eyesight and things like that is because of you, you know your absorption of sun. Now the, the, the now their planet lives near a either a dying sun or a, a a white dwarf or a sun that is not releasing enough radiation that that they absorb. Therefore, that's why they're bald. None of them have hair, etc. But I'm going off topic. Okay, I just want you to know though that you're in for a treat. Paul Atreides is. A character that I promise you, you will never forget, nor will you forget his family. We'll just say that, okay? We'll just say his family. There's something about his family. I'd watch the movie. Watch the movie. But more importantly, read the books, okay? I know we live in a time and an era and an age where people would prefer to sit there with 30-second attention spans on TikTok, but don't lose the art of reading. Reading is one of the most, you know greatest gifts that we're given it's how you can maintain your intelligence it's how i've maintained you know and learned and been able to keep my mind sharp and how i've been able to uh, be knowledgeable in a lot of fields okay reading reading is a tool it's a gift it is something that is a muscle uh, it is a weight that you use as like a muscle of, of that of the brain that opens your mind reading is more than just a hobby Reading is those for those who are curious and seek answers. 